Hi, I'm Rene, and I'm a bit overwhelmed with the complete spell overhaul in the Windcraft 2.0 update, so I decided to make this 5 part series in which I will start a new class and figure out slash show you the early to mid game of that class. Hopefully both experienced players and complete newbies will find this series helpful. If this series get 2000 likes in total, I will do another series going over each class in endgame. The playlist can be found in the description. In this video, we will be exploring the Archer class. Once you log into the server, you will be able to create a new character. In this case, I will go for an Archer, and I will start the game. Now you shift through the dialog. I will skip tutorial, however, if this is your first playthrough, definitely go through it. And I will finish my first quest. Now I can fire arrows which don't go as far as they used to. I can access my bank here, that hasn't changed. Now let's take a look at the spells. I can unlock the arrow bomb ability, which if I press left, right, right, will shoot an arrow bomb, which actually flies further. Let's see it here, and yes, it explodes. You gain ability points by leveling up, and you can spend them on more upgrades to your spells. And there are a lot of them. Oh, and you can see the average DPS on your weapons. Nice. This way you will know which weapons to choose. Okay, and I leveled up. My next ability point is in two more levels though. Oh, actually not. I gained it now, so I will unlock the Bow Proficiency 1 ability, which improves main attacks, damage, and range when using the bow. Oh, nice. Which, yeah, is visible. Three star ingredient and snipe. Okay, never mind. Snipe. Yeah. Nice. And let's not talk about that. And finally, when you fall down, you can get up. This is where the giant rat lives. Oh, and it damages also me. Oh yeah, arrow bombs now damage the player as well if you're too close to them. So be sure not to do this. <laughs> Impossible to open chest. Nice! Okay, I have unlocked now my other ability point. And I can either use it to make a cheaper arrow bomb or to unlock the heart shatter ability. But since I want to show you as many of these abilities, and mana cost is quite boring, so I will not show it to you here because you know what that means, I will unlock this. Which makes it that if you directly hit a mob with an arrow bomb, it will deal more damage. Ah, I love these animations, they're really cool. Even though this is a simple two level quest. And I get a better bow with a better DPS. Okay, and now I leveled up. So I can use another ability point and unlock my escape ability. Which if I left click three times, I get, you know, just launched back. We. But this time at level six and not at level 11, which is as it was last time. By last time, I mean in Windcraft 1.0. And no more points at level 7. Do not enter. Yeah, right. How would I get this chest without trespassing? Nice! Okay, I can use my ability point and I can fill it, finish Thirk's quest or however it's called. Enzan's brother, yes. Okay, and now I can choose. Oh, nice. And since I'm on beta, I can just clear my ability tree so that I can use the other abilities. Okay, now let's try both of these. So double shots, double my main attack arrows. And now I have the first ability that falls within one of these archetypes. And Archer has three archetypes. The Bolt Slinger, which deals massive amounts of hits at close range. The Sharpshooter, which aims and deals brutal hits on long range, probably. And the Trapper, which does traps. Now let's clear the ability tree. And let's try the Power Shots ability. Now I only shoot one arrow, but they have increased speed and knockback. And this one has 20 DPS. Now, whenever doing Enzan's brother and you have like 50 plus health, always pick up this key and get this secret discovery because it gives a really good legendary helmet. Of course, you have to kill this boss right here, but you know, if you can do it, then it's worth it. Oh wow, did I do this? It gives you a legendary helmet that can be either really good or just kind of average. Nice. But it can get up to 120 HP. Now let's do the dungeon. Ah, the mob spawn rate is good here. However, I might die because of it. No! Come on! Yeah. Is it just me or did they make Decrepit Sewers harder? 
Nice! Level 10. That unlocks me another ability point. Which I will actually use on the cheaper arrow bomb because I have died a lot of times because I didn't have enough mana. And I will go for double shots because I like it more than power shots. I mean, I will still die, but, you know, at least... I, I know what, at least I will probably just die. <laughs> yep. Again? Secret discoveries. Oh, and actually this normal bow is better than my rare bow, actually unique bow, so I will use it. The DPS actually is a lot of help. And we Nice! Another ability point. Oh, wow! Wait, you don't need milk and three pigment meat for this quest anymore? You need ten fish? Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? He is not accepting tier 2 meat, but only tier 1? Fish is one meat angrily. Also, I can use my ability point and unlock my arrow storm. Which is a spell that you know from the normal game as well. Yay! And we got to keep the old treasure, even though it's completely useless. Even though it's completely useless. Pronunciation, Rene. Pronunciation. Now let's identify our legendary bow and... Nice, 79 DPS. Put some powder on it. And the DPS is even higher. Also, good thing about this update, I might be able to show it to you right now, well, if I get thrown away, is that you can actually use the escape ability even if you're not on any block. And I did not get thrown into the void. Nice! No, no! Oh, come on! I did not get that second chest. Ooh, nice! This will come in handy. So will the level up. Oh, and this time I gained another point. Now I will not be going directly to the arrow shield. I will get this wound defeat ability, which gives me speed whenever I do this. Okay, nice. Now I don't have to wait to, what was it, like level 60 when you got it? Now you get it at level 13 if you unlock it. Nice. No, oh, come on. Let's the infested pit key. I mean, that happens when you have one soul point. No, not in a cobweb. Not again. Not again. Oh, fine. I I, I survived. Oh, another one. Nice. I, mean, I will probably die with it as well. Or maybe even without it. Before I will be able to get it. Nice. Now I will hopefully not die. This legendary bow should be good enough. <laughs> nice. Well, something that is good, you can now finally use this spell even if you're not on land or like on ground. Nice, 22 blocks. I will get myself a horse. Nice. Oh, and a tier 5 emerald pouch. Oh, this got redone. Nice. Okay, I got another ability tree point and I will use it for cheaper escape spell. Which, yep, yeah, just cheapens the escape spell. And I got a horse. I mean, now I got a horse. Also, a reminder for next time, I will go Iron Man. Because if I would be Iron Man, I could just put everything in my pouch. But now I can put only, uh, like, ingredients in my in my ingredient pouch. These termites not only lag the game, but also give zero XP. Why? And, and it will kill me, probably. Ah, nice. I didn't die, although I'm very close to. Oh, spoke too soon. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, I survived. And I just started the quest that will get us all the way to the 20s. Ooh, nice, another one. That I will definitely lose, but whatever. And not only because of these mobs that spawn, yeah, yeah, these mobs, exactly, that spawn whenever you're walking the path to the dungeon, or these undead soldiers that give 200 XP each, or just these a lot of mobs. The finishing of this quest levels me up. I mean, hopefully it should, right? Yep. Ooh, two levels? I have no idea how this quest works, but it just gives more XP than it should. Because this quest definitely should not level you up two levels. Yet it does. But this means I have two more points that I can use for my ability tree. So first off, the arrow shield, of course. Which, if I do this, will make an arrow shield around me. Let's see how well it works. Nice. Two hits. Also, these spiders give a lot of XP, so I leveled up one more level. I didn't get an ability point, but I still have one that I can use. Next page. And now we have element mastery abilities, where I gain more damage per element. And since I put a thunder powder on this one, I'll get the thunder mastery. 
Oh, okay, I'm not strong enough for this dungeon. I feel like Archer has very low defense, so if I'll just put all my points in defense, that should help it. Oh, I have to be inside of a town to modify this? Okay, this should help me out. Now I'm gonna grind here until an infested pet Gee Guardian spawns here. Because, you know, they spawn here. <laughs> Or I will die just instantly. Fair enough, that also works. Or not, that that also works. Oh, and there he is. Buy a few of these. And attempt numero zwei. Nice, another ability point. Okay, got my 26 tokens, let's go. Out of this death trap. And let's use our point. And I'm going to go for air mastery because I want these triple shots. Also, these abilities now cost two ability points instead of one. Now, since this is a showcase and not some kind of hardcore playthrough, I will use this to, you know, make the leveling easier so that I can show you more abilities. That is, of course, if I actually manage to kill this boss, but hopefully this won't be a problem. Okay, and he's almost dead, just can't die. Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -da. Nice. 23, not bad. And I got two more ability points, nice. Which means I can get either the arrow rain or the nimble string ability. And I'm gonna get the arrow rain because I want the triple shot. Okay, so what the arrow rain does is when you have your arrow shield, come on, hopefully it won't kill this mob. It will, okay. So when you have the arrow shield, I have one arrow left and it will just like make a arrow storm. Yeah, you, you saw that, you saw that. Yeah, see, you can do this in the air. Nice! That saved me <laughs> from certain death. Oh, come on, don't kill me when I'm in the exit. Uh, this will be very unfortunate. I can't exit! Finally! Well, the backside of Archer is you get killed a lot. Also, level 26. And two more ability points. So I'll get the triple shots and the water mastery. Which means, yep, I now shoot triple times, three times. How do you say, just like three arrows? Oh, I will die. Oh wow, I haven't lost any. Wow. Okay, this guy has a way higher DPS. I shouldn't have gone here, shouldn't have gone here. This was a mistake. Okay, now let's try to make this within the nine minutes that we have the double XP. Now in the Shadow Realm. Okay, we finished the quest with, I think, five minutes to spare. Now let's see if we can make this dungeon or if we will die, <laughs> like we usually do. I see it that we will die. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, especially since I keep going into corners, I should not be. Yeah, this is exactly why my 100 days of hardcore took 300 hours and like 100 attempts. I'm not good at this game. Ooh, there's one. Yeah, we're not making it in two minutes. So that guy can easily kill us, but if we kill him, we get a lot of XP. Nice! Oh, another one. You know what? I'm not Iron Man, so I'll just take it from here. Oh, Hawkeye is to do. I will not be doing this on the other classes, however... Since I didn't set Iron Man, might as well. In that case, yeah, I will use it again. I will go in again, and this time be more careful. Also have more HP, that will definitely help. Or or not be careful, fair enough. Or, or just try to survive and run for it. Yeah, that works also. <laughs> Cheat spots. Oh, no flames. Oh, they also can't get to me, nice. And use my adventurous pants. And here just spam General Graken. Or not. All General Grakens are dead and I am being swarmed. Can't believe I'm gonna say it, but some crowd control will come in handy. And more. And more. Okay, they're going to the boss. And they should kill him. Right? Nice. Oh, and I got the adventurous helmet now. Anyways, now I can finally level up. A lot. <laughs> or not. Okay, that was close. Nice! Overall, probably not my favorite class to play with a archer. Ooh, but I can now unlock the Phantom Ray. I'm gonna have to use the Oakwood Bow, but whatever. Because if I do this... Oh yeah, Phantom Ray, nice. Now, let's recreate the scene from the trailer with our Ray of Doom. This scene, by the way. I think it was from here. Did I kill him? Wait, let's see. No, I did not. Okay, well, recreation will not be happening, but I can still kill them, like, 
so. Or can I? One health? I mean, I am doing this with, you know, an oak wood bow, so it's very strong anyway, but still. And this is where I will end my archer showcase. You die a lot with it, especially when your skill is the same as mine, aka almost none. Goodbye!